you were introduced to your first differential equations in core 2, OK? So in this problem, we have a gradient of a curve given by the differential equation 6 root x, or dy by dx, is 6 root x minus 2. So I'm going to rewrite that as dy by dx is equal to 6x to the half, take away 2. Given also that the curve passes through the point 9, 4, find the equation of the curve. So we've been given some coordinates that we know that the curve passes through. Now, these extra bits of information okay, are, in general terms, known as initial conditions or boundary conditions. Okay? They are referred to as initial conditions, uh, usually when we're talking about time and when we have um, time as being zero, and hence initial. Um, but this would be referred to as a boundary condition. So in other words, it is in, it's information that we know about the curve that will help us find uh, a particular solution. So from dy by dx equals 6x to the half minus 2, we can easily integrate this to get, well, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. We have minus 2x and a plus c, a constant of integration. And so y is equal to 6 divided by 3 halves is the same as 6 times 2 thirds. So 12 over 3, so 4 x to the 3 halves, take away 2x, plus c. This is what we refer to as the general solution of a differential equation, because we have this plus c constant of integration. Effectively, this is a whole family of curves. OK, so I don't know what shape it is. It doesn't matter. But the fact is that it is a whole family of curves that have exactly the same shape. OK, and that's why we call it the general solution. And then what we do is we use those boundary conditions to focus ourselves in on one particular curve. And that will give us a particular solution. So if we sub in 9, 4... We're going to get 4 is equal to 4 lots of 9 to the 3 halves. Uh, take away 2 lots of 9. Uh, plus C, so we've got 90 plus C. And so C must be minus 86. And so Y is equal to 4X to the 3 halves minus 2X minus 86 is the equation of that particular curve, and that is why we refer to it as the particular solution. OK? And that's how we could solve a differential equation that is from core 2. OK? Now, we're obviously going to be extending this, and we're going to see how this uh, changes when we have both x and y in the differential equation. OK, now differential equations and solving them uh, is a big part of degree mathematics. OK, and this is really the first step, the first kind of proper method that you will learn um, in order to start solving them. And that's known as separation of variables.